I will now proceed to attempt to fish in Final Fantasy XV whilst reading The Legend of Zelda crossed with Metal Gear Solid fan fiction. Chapter 1 He tells her Link is on the bridge behind Hyrule Castle with Epona. The wind is blowing in his blonde hair. We go. Uh, Good. Uh, 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 it. Uh, the, his bright blue eyes are shining. He puts a smile on his face and gets off Epona. He walks her, starting to stroking her snout. He smiles. Fuck. He's, He's sm off on the reeling. Holy shit. Uh, he. Fuck. Uh, he, he starts stroking her snout, he smiles and says, Today's a day, Pona, I'm going to tell Zelda how I feel, and he chuckles to himself, uh, and says, It's kind of pathetic, I wish, I, I, I went through a lot of temples, different bosses risked my life, defeated Ganondorf without hesitation, and I have to try to force, and I have the Triforce of Courage. They spelled try as in T R Y, and I don't have the courage to. Fuck! Oh, oh man! That is. We almost had it. We, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, try, try, try again. Um, uh, courage. How I feel. Uh, don't have the courage to tell her how I feel. He pauses. What's even more pathetic? I'm talking about this to my horse. Epona snorts. He gets back on her saddle and makes himself comfortable and strokes her soft white mane and says, let's go. He clicks her hips and with his heels and tr try not, uh, but not too hard, and she starts to trot. At the, he's at the entrance of the castle. He gets off. Okay, Pona, this is it. You, you wait for me here, okay? Okay. And uh, when I, when he, ah, fuck. When I come back, I promise I'll bring you the biggest, brightest apple there. Okay, I'll be back. He thinks to himself, Goddesses, I hope this go- I got one? Nice. Yo, sick. Uh, Goddesses, I hope this goes well. He walks into Castle Town and some people were talking. Uh, some throwing... Uh, some... Uh, some... Where'd it go? Where'd it, uh... Uh, talking... Some were throwing money in the fountain and some running with pots. He thinks to himself, where are they going in such a hurry with pots? He shrugs it off and goes in the hall to the castle. He gets stopped. Uh, fuck. He gets stopped by the guard and the guard. Oh, it's you, Link. What do you need? I need to speak with the princess, says the hero. For what? Asks the guard. Link says, it's really important for only me and her to know. And the guard shrugs and says, fair enough, but I have to escort you. Link nods. The guard uh, nice. led him through the courtyard, and it was a beautiful garden with a big Triforce crest in the center. He led him out. to. And I haven't even fished. To, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, prompto. Uh, he. Fuck. He. Where, uh, ah. Is he led him to? He led him to Zelda's throne room. Uh, she was peaceful, sitting in her throne, reading a book. And the guard raises his voice a little and says, Your Majesty, you have a guest. He's... Fuck. He says... Uh... He, he says, Thank... Um... Uh... But you have a guest. Uh... He says it is important to discuss with you in private. Zelda nodded and said, Thank you, guard. You may go about your job. She smiles and she... Gu the, the guard bows his head and heads out. Link walks up to her and kneels up on the floor. And bows his head and said, "Hello, Princess Zelda." He looks uh, up and boy, did he did emotion, she look pretty. Uh, she was wearing the usual dress with the armor shoulder pads, and her hair braided and wrapped in ribbons, and her bright green sparkle in the light of the room, and her smile was gentle. What a what a fox. Uh, uh, she is as classy as you can get. Link gulped and oh shit. Uh, Link gulped. Uh, Link, Link, Link gulp. Link gulped. Fuck, what? Where was it? Because Link gulped and felt his cheeks getting warmer. He was blushing. She put a hand on his shoulder and Link looked to hide the redness in his face and she asked him, Link, what is this important information that you need to tell me? Her voice sounded like a true goddess. Nice. So innocent and pure and sweet. 
He felt the redness in his face go away as so he looked up to her. Link, you don't have to kneel anymore, she said. Oh, right. Yeah, that's sick. Um, uh, there. Okay, uh, he stands and dusts off his pants Ooh, and says, vicious. Princess, I just th th said uh, that it was important just so I can talk to you. She says, well, what is it? Link says, well, ever since I defeated Ganondorf and Midna left, uh, we have become close friends. Uh, Zelda says, I su yeah, I suppose. And you're the princess of Hyrule, and I'm just a wrangler that became a hero. Uh, Zelda cuts him off and, and Link, Link, what is it you're trying to say? You're not making any sense. Uh, Link, uh, cuts, Link cuts her off and says, Zelda, I love you! She pauses, her cheeks, uh, get red and says, um, her cheeks get red and says, uh, Stop wait, 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 wait. Pauses. Her cheeks get red and says, I know, I know. Uh, but that's just how I feel, and I hope that you can return the feelings. Same feelings. She pauses for a few seconds. Uh, pauses for a few seconds. Uh, Link, I'm sorry, but I can't return the feelings you have for me. The line's still okay, you think? It, yes, it's okay, prompto. Uh, the, the feelings you have for... Fuck. Uh, the feelings you have for me. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't see you like that. He felt his heart drop, and his stomach was in knots, and felt a knot in his throat, and his knees felt like they were going to collapse. Ha! The line's gonna begin as well. The, uh, uh, collapse. He, he was, but he was not going to cry. Not in front of the princess or anyone else. Because heroes, uh, heroes don't cry. She puts her hand on, on his shoulder, and gives him a soft grin. Link, I'm sorry. But I can't think of you that way. You are a great ally and a wonderful friend. The princess says, oh, I'm good. a princess, Link. I have a kingdom to rule, and I can't have any distractions. Please understand, and please don't hate me. He looks her in the that eye and says, I can never hate you, and I can't stop loving you. Fucking, fix your fucking line. Uh, I can't stop loving you. Uh, she took, she took, uh, her hand off of him and says, Link, I... Your Majesty, there is a disturbance at Zora's. Let me get this big one over here. At Zora's domain, and the princess is here, and he needs to see you right away. The princess here needs to see you right away. Said a Hyrule Knight, and and that was that, that was sick. Uh, I will be there momentarily. Give me a moment. The the the, the hero forces a smile and tells her to stop. And says, "No, Zelda, I've got to go. I don't, I don't." WT2E in the way of ruling your kingdom. He bows his head and walks away. She looks at the floor for a few seconds and straightens herself and adjusts her dress and walks out. Link bought his r horse and an apple as he promised and had it sliced in half by the merchant because he keeps his promises to everyone, even his horse. Look at this big fucker here. Uh, even his horse. Uh, uh, he forced a smile when he gave his horse a half. They usually split it, but he was not hungry at the moment. It didn't go well, girl, he said as he stroked her snout. Ugh, what was I thinking? Telling the princess of Hyrule that I loved her. He looked at the water in the moat. Maybe she is right. I woe jut be a distraction. He gave Epona the other half of the apple. I'm going for a walk, girl. He started for the walk when he started hearing who was behind him. She followed him not because it, he might have more apples, but she always wanted to be around him when they were out in the field. No, girl! I need to think and be alone for a while. I will use my whistle if I need you, but for now head to the village. He trained her to go back to the village by pushing her in the direction it's in. She rubbed her nose with her nose to make him a chuckle. He, Epona, I, I want to be alone. I know you want to cheer me up, but... I never, never mind, you need to go home. Fuck, this is hard. You need to go home. He pushes her in the right direction and taps her booty, and she trotted off. He let a sigh and walked off in the, into the sunset. Uh, author's note, yay, I hope you liked it. I know Zelda was cold-hearted and cruel, but that's the way it had to go. It hurt for me to break Link's heart, so please, RR, don't know what that means. Uh, uh, Anthony, they better review or I'm going to give you a pinch you so hard that you're going to need oh, to amputate your arm. Good. Uh, me, crying voice, please review, please, uh, hurt, it may not seem much, but it's bad, ha, huh? so yeah, so RR, 
and tell me what you think. Was it good? Was it bad? Oh, okay, thank you. It just got better from here. That sounds like they have a very abusive relationship. Uh, chapter chapter two, uh, the briefing. Okay, here's chapter two. That was all written by Anthony. None of it is me. Now we are at the world of Metal Gear Solid. So at Shadow of Moses, dude, that sounds so good. All right, fucking ill. Disclaimers: Anthony does not know any, does not own anything. It is all owned by Konami and Nintendo. He owns nothing. Now on with the chapter. Whew. Thank you for getting that out of the way. On a base located um, off the shore of Alaska was an island called Shadow Moses. A retired military soldier named Solid Snake was sent on a rescue mission for an arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, and the DARPA chief president, Donald Anderson. Snake, wearing a sneaking suit, was swimming to the side of the base underground, I might add. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm gonna swat down a couple of bothersome flies, says Liquid. Nice. He walks into the elevator and heads into the main base. Uh, Snake climbs uh, up and he calls the Colonel. It's Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Snake asks. Uh, one of these. Uh, flashback. A man with blonde, long hair who has strip searched is sitting on a beach or bench. Uh, he heard footsteps coming in. Uh, it's been a long time, Snake, says the Colonel. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel, says Snake. Hey, Snake, I invited you just for a chat. Uh, Colonel says, invited? Uh, you call setting armed soldiers after me inviting me? Snake's asked angrily. Sorry if you were a little if it, if they were a little rough, Snake, but we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. Colonel asks, excuse me? A woman asks, who is this? Snake asks, this is Dr. Naomi Hunter. She's an expert at gene therapy. Colonel says as he introduces her, uh, this one. Uh, as he introduces her, do, 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 uh, where'd go? Um, ba, 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 ba. I, I have been sent here by ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Naomi says, don't worry a bit. Don't worry, this weren't her, her bit, Naomi says. Uh, uh, no, Naomi says, giving Snake a shot on a remote island off the shore of Alaska is Shadow Moses. Military officials have taken over the base. Colonel starts explaining, what military unit? Uh, Snake asks, uh, next generation special forces led by Foxhound members. Uh, you'll have two mission objectives. One, one you'll have to rescue DARPA chief, uh, Donald Anderson and arms tech president, Kenneth Baker. Second, you'll have to see if they actually have the ability to launch a nuke, and stop them if they do. Colonel explains more. What? So what exactly are they demanding? Snake asks. Um, a person's remains. Colonel answers. Remains? Wait. <clears throat> remains? The snake asks shockingly. Yes. To be more uh, accurate, a sp cell specimen, which uh, contains the individual's genetic code. Uh, Colonel answers. Why? Snake asks. To strengthen the make of their soldiers more skilled to wait to make and make their sil soldiers more skilled in combat oh, Colonel good. says who's G wait, wait uh, um who, who's even saying this oh oh wait um what whose genes do they want uh big bosses Colonel answers who's in charge of the attack snake says uh here take a look well, at this photo to oh my god the line got so low holy shit uh snake says uh here, here, take a here, take a look at this photo. Uh, take a look at this, this photo of the leader. Colonel says as he hands Snake the photo. Snake was stunned when he saw what looked like was looking like a man that looked exactly like him. The terrorist leader code name is Liquid Snake. Colonel says, "So will you accept this mission, Snake?" Colonel asks. Oh fuck! I fucked that one. Oh, we're gonna. Uh, will you accept? And Colonel asks. Okay, but why are you involved? Aren't you retired? Snake asks. Uh, but yes, but the president, but the terrorists, uh, have, but, but the terrorists have some, somebody important to me hostage. Colonel says, who? Snake asks, uh, my niece Meryl, Colonel says, Snake, if you can please rescue her. Okay, Colonel. Uh, Snake replies, uh, Naomi, hand me those scissors and hair color, will you? Snake asks, uh, sure, Snake, but for what? She asks, I'm going to take this mission, so when I rescue them, I don't want them to to look like their leader. Uh, Sna Snake, take this. I will get the feeling you will need it. Naomi said, handing. I'm gonna get this. Way. Naomi said, uh, handing him a syringe. Flashback and. 
Uh, Snake asks... Wait, wait, wrong one. Uh, wait. Uh, uh, as Snake neared the elevator, he... Uh, he heard it coming and saw a guard. Fuck. Uh, Snake hid from the... Hid behind the forklift. As the soldier walked out of the elevator, he heard a knock behind the forklift. He went to investigate and Snake went to the opposite direction of the elevator. Snake pushed a button and then sent the elevator up and down. Uh, Snake removed his diving mask and revealed his face as he arrived to the top of the elevator. Yes! Finally! I got this up! Well, next chapter is gonna have more Zelda and uh, have some more Metal Gear Solid. So yeah, hope you like it. RR, please. Alright, so real talk, that was literally just explaining the what happens at the very beginning of the, 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 the fucking game. Like, literally, the, like the first less than five minutes of the game, you just you just wrote it down. You didn't really fanfic anything. I, I, I don't, I'm, 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 Anthony, you're slacking, bro. <laughs> like, I mean, come on, bro. Like, all that was was, you just like, described what happens at the beginning of the game. That's it. What, what the hell? Zelda didn't shoot Snake down or anything. I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I thought, I thought there would have been a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a creative, creative input on, on your end. But I mean, hey man, I get it. I, I respect it, dog. Creative creativity is a little different in people's eyes. I, I, that's cool, man. Shit. Well, Great that job. was uh, that was that was a huge waste of everyone's time. <laughs> I was gonna do so many things, and I just I just decided fuck it. we I was I was just gonna. I don't know. I don't know. This. Somehow this seemed like the best course of action. I it just just trust me on this. Fuck. All right. Well, uh, uh, the fuck out of here. <laughs>